good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. Welcome, in fact, to episode number 498. This is on the road, so to speak, I'm at your hotel. That's why it's a different background, different venue, and I'm attempting to do this quickly because I've got a lot of people pulling on me today. But I'm doing it at 5 p.m. as I commit to. Um, my name is Barry Selby, and I do these talks every day, so let me choose myself so you know who I am. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for the last almost two years now, I've been doing these talks every day called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today is episode 498. And it's a quick one um, because I'm actually setting up for an event tonight. I'm shooting all weekend and also promoting my my coaching work with this audience. It's all women. Oh, dear. And it's going to be a fun event. And it's (laughs) thanks for all the people tapping like hearts and, and, and likes and stuff. Um, so the topic today, because it's on my mind right now, because this weekend, is how do you support women? And this may be more towards men than women. However, if you're a woman, how do you support other women? Because right now, I think more than ever, is a time that women should be sisters, should be connected, should be supporting each other. I stand for the feminine. A lot of, me, a lot of women who know me know that's my truth. Men don't always like that about me. <laughs> that's their problem, not mine. So this weekend, my friend... Um, Deborah Kagan's event, which is um, Mojo Recovery Weekend, where she had, I think it's about 30, 40, 50 women going to be here. Yes. Oh dear, you know, <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. But I'm aware that why I do it is because obviously it's a chance to network and connect, and also because I'm also with my friend Deborah by shooting pictures for her, because I'm also have been a professional photographer for many years. I still do it once in a while when special people ask. But the recognition, and, and apologize, I'm looking over the camera, I'm just watching the front door of the hotel because. Um, if I can switch the camera, you can see that I'm literally looking at there at the doors behind. That's the, that's the camera. So, so that's why my distraction because people keep walking by and I'm like, is that my call? I've got to go. So just bear with me. I'm attempting to get this talk done expediently at the same time, giving you something valuable to use, which is the question I'm asking. I'm not providing you any answers. I'm going to share my experience, which may inspire you, may upset you, <laughs> it may encourage you. I don't know. But I find in my work, like just today in setting up, I'm helping a lot of the other women set up their booths and vendors and such because I can. And I'm aware that I do it because I can. It's not because I'm looking for something or getting something. And for men out there watching this, if you can shift your mindset, in some cases they're not impossible, but if you can shift your mindset to be a place where you can serve as a like helping hand. And this goes a little bit back towards gentlemanly conduct. I've talked about that many times before. So many men could learn to remember, to step up, to actually learn some gentlemanly actions, behaviors that would be respectful of women and people around them. So opening the doors for women, stuff like that is the simplest thing. But I'm helping out my friends, actually brand new friends, because some I don't even know, to set up their booths and arrange their stuff and troubleshoot for them, because I've already taken care of my own stuff. But rather than sitting there just fiddling on my phone or gloating about it, I'm like, how can I help? And that for me is a masculine practice. For ladies out there, you need, not need, I recommend you have men around you you can trust who are masculine who do step in and support you. Because frankly, there's not enough of that. That simple. There's too much, and it may be just the men I've been seeing around lately, where they're so self-interested and so focused or even just uncaring that the idea of helping a woman out to open the door for her to let her go ahead of him to see if you can support her in some way is just dysfunctional and it might be tied to that fear of being accused of some of harassment because that's apparently a thing going around now like the him too i'm like screw that that's that's i'm sorry i have an issue with the, the, the 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 him too thing that's going around that really bugs me because there's a piece about it that really goes why is it that because, let me say this way, I saw, it, I saw it, it, a statistic, I'll try the word again, a statistic yesterday or the day before, where there's a comparison between how many women have felt, um, how do I say this, so caught up in their own stuff, so caught up in, no, no, no sorry, I'm going the wrong direction, I got distracted by these kids running around with rainbow t-shirts on, that was yesterday, <laughs> for the coming out thing. Um, let me rewind for a second I get distracted and let me stay present okay back on track (coughs) apologies for that so 
for the number of women proportionally, percentage-wise, who have had, who have dealt with harassment, abuse, rape even, um, any sort of abuse by men versus the number of men who have been wrongly accused of harassing a woman. It's ridiculously different. So when men start going to the him too stuff, like certain people in leadership, I call bullshit, pure and simple. There's so much more room for us as individual men to step up, to be honest, and to be transparent. The challenges for most men is they don't know how to be transparent and honest with a woman to say, I want to help you out, or I'm interested in you. And that, that's the thing, is that if you tell a woman the truth, and I don't mean your dick-driven truth, I'm talking about your heart-driven truth, it's quite likely she will understand that. She'll respond to that. She may even say, I appreciate what you're saying. I'm not interested, but I okay. appreciate what you're saying. Because the thing about it I've discovered for myself is when I tell a woman this from a priest that's really honest, and I'm not forcing an agenda or trying to override her, she will tell me her truth. And if it doesn't line up for her, she'll tell me that. And I accept that. Now, some men have an issue with their ego is being attached. They can't accept that stuff. So here's a dating tip. When she says no, fucking listen. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I came out directly. But this is my point. We forget, men forget this. And the reality is we have a, um, a missed calling, which is to honor, respect, and serve the feminine. So I'm calling forward that now. And I'm doing this quickly because I've got to go back inside. That's why it's a short broadcast tonight. But I want to put this plant, this seed out there about how do we support, how do we men serve the feminine? So women step up and be in... Um, positive regard for women because we've got work to do and with the stuff with the Me Too conversation and this other hashtag I'm not going to talk about again um, we have room for improvement so with that I'm going to sign up quickly so I'm going to go back and set up the room because we've got registration starting and I'm going to be in the room for that thanks for being with me I'll see you again tomorrow I'm not sure if it'll be 5pm because uh, this weekend it's, uh, we're in from 9am to like 6pm so I'm going to do it afterwards we'll see but if you have questions thoughts about this if you, if you have ideas about how you support women put it below in the comments if you have questions about it, put it below in the comments. And ladies, if you have any input, also put that in the comments. I appreciate that. Uh, quick reminders. This is a Facebook Live. It goes out on Facebook first on my personal page. I then save it to my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. Then also goes on to my um, YouTube channel. And that is Barry Selby is the user slash channel. And the, play the yes, playlist is messages from the masculine. So you can sort, you can sort through my broadcasts. Or 498 of them. And then it also ends up on my iTunes podcast. And podcast is called Messages from the Masculine. On YouTube and iTunes, you can subscribe there if you wish. You can download from my podcast and um, listen when you're driving, riding, whatever you're doing. And uh, I think that's it. I appreciate you watching and being with me, of course. It's probably number 499, the penultimate broadcast before 500. That'll be Sunday. But I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And if you have questions about this, please put them below. And if you want to share it out with people you know, feel free to do that too. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.